excited to share with you guys today the Impala Barbie roller skates. They are the exact same skates that you saw Margot Robbie and Ryan Goslin wearing in the Barbie movie. So Impala Skates has actually been sold out of these skates for a couple of weeks now. I've signed up for their SMS, their email reminder to tell me when they come back in stock and I haven't gotten it yet and that's okay because I actually got these skates from Fritzy's Roller Skate Shop in California. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below. When I got my skates in the mail, I got this cool sticker from them. It says Fritzy's. I love getting stickers, but I never have anything to stick them on, but that's okay. Just for the sake of having it, I'm, I'm happy. I, I've got a sticker from Fritzy's. So check out their website. They may have restocked some more of these. They did have a couple of sizes left the last time I checked. I believe five, six, and I forget the rest, but check out their site. You might be able to find the elbow pads, knee pads, and even the socks. I want to get into the design of the skate. So if you look at the movie, yes, they are the exact same pair, but it slightly differs from what we see in the movie and what we get in person and through the online advertisements. In the movie, the boot is a little bit more neon than what you would get in person and what you see online. So I'm guessing that was maybe done through editing or maybe the lighting that they use because it almost had a tad bit of green on the skates or maybe that's just my eyes. Just like this bright neon yellow that was close to green. And also the pink wheels to the laces to the um, pink circle, it wasn't as neon as what you see in front of you. It was more of like a magenta pink, just a little close to red. And you didn't get the Barbie and Paula logo in the movie as you would get in person. A lot of people were saying in the comments that because it's Barbie, they felt like the skates should have been all pink. I'm actually glad that Impala decided not to do that because if you know the 80s and 90s aesthetic of Barbie, they had a lot of dolls that had neon colors because it was a trend of the time with pink accents. I also think that we've seen enough pink with this Barbie movie. The entire set was pink. The first doll that came out was pink. The car was pink. So it's unique that they gave us some skates that gave you a break from that color and you just have this all neon gorgeous yellow boot. So I'm actually not a skater. I've been to roller skating rinks where I'll have like the four wheel that you can rent out with the wrist guards and that's pretty much it. But skating is actually an activity that I want to take up and do more of for the enjoyment. You know, I think skating is fun and also it gave me an excuse to get myself some pretty nice skates that is memorabilia from the movie. So one of the details I really enjoyed about this skate is that the boot is all one color. It's just all neon yellow and then the part that covers up the wheels is neon yellow as well. Forgive me for not knowing what the part of this skate is called. Again, like I said, I'm not a hardcore skater, but hey, maybe I'll become one. And even in this part, if you can see closely on camera, it has three stars that are just printed on there. They could have easily made that pink, but the boot already has enough of, enough of a nice contrast already with the yellow and the pink that I feel like if you made the stars pink, it would just, I don't know, it would be too much on the eyes. It's more seamless just to have the stars the same color as the boot and it's repeated on the next side. When I first got these in the mail, I thought these are massive and there's no way that these are going to fit. But they definitely fit because the boot has a lining inside. If I pull it out, it almost looks like it's a sock. So if I put my fingers in here, I can feel the tip of the toes. So your toes don't actually touch this front part of the boot. It's, um, I want to say like half an inch before that. But as long as the lining inside of the boot fits your foot, uh, perfectly or maybe just a tad bit a tad bit bigger you have the right fit because I tried these on without socks that's why I mentioned if it's a tad bit bigger than your foot that's actually a good thing because roller skating uh, socks they tend to be thick so that you don't blister your foot and they give your feet more protection I think one of the key details on these skates that make it stand out aside from it being an entirely neon boot is gonna be the pink laces on the skates the pink laces are the exact same color as the wheels and the wheels have a bit of detailing on them as well. If you can see carefully, just the outer portion of the wheel, not the inner portion, it says Barbie the movie Impala in yellow and it's more of a subtle yellow. It's not a bright 
neon pink that's going to distract from the booth. If you go to the roller rink or you go to the park to skate outside, like I am right now, so forgive me for all the background noise, you're definitely going to stand out. I think these boots are just a standout in themselves. So if you like to blend in with the crowd, I don't recommend these skates. And of course, with skating, we can't forget our protective gear. It's got wrist guards, elbow pads, and knee pads. It's the Barbie the Movie Impala Protective Gear Skate Set. It has the same exact neon color as the skates and that beautiful neon rainbow print that Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling have on their outfits in the movie. <laughs> Can't wait to try these out. But I'm gonna take these out for a spin because that's what roller skates are meant to do. So I'm gonna go and check these out and you guys can come and skate with me.